Yo, Red J. Me up. Mary's always happy to have you. You're throwing it all away, slinging. You got a choice, son. Either come back with me. Streets. Cut. Holy fuck. Literal. You wait. What is that smell? What? An Oscar nomination. Get you back to one, huh? I'm gonna watch playback. Trouble getting out of the starter's block. Everybody's giving up on you. You're all the sensitivity readers that we hired. They all. And he must be so proud. He tiny little thing. You said. All right, everybody. Let's get back to one. I want a meaningful challenge. But yesterday was whack as. Look, don't get me wrong. I am stoked to be mouth shut. Do as you fucking told. King of letting your children play carefree. Outsiders have shown their true colors, folks. Feel different. Let's see. White and blue caddy. I thought it might be helpful. Really fighting them right now. Please stop. Mom, stop. You look good. Got tall. Now, so. He gave me power of return. Why the f Besides that, you'd have to ask him. You leave the money on the dresser. <laughs> Would have been the hard <laughs> Therapist Gloria has filled me in on that. Be free of it. What is this? I'm not sure why I'm Hey! All right. So again, fuck me. From you, you're a liability butcher. Now grab your shit out. Small town kid grows up on a Montana. Who am I? Then one day that it's time for you to take your place. Oh, oh. wow. Yes. <laughs> uh, Does not blow. It blows the profitability. Yeah, but I don't think Ryan. Ryan needs to reflect that. He's not one of But let's not forget me. The chosen one. So America will want. I'm not on the call. A scene from a train's Jesse T. Usher recently released film training a train, which stars Will Ferrell as his instructor, introduces the show. Ferrell's portrayal is praised by the movie's director, Adam Bork, PJ. Byrne, who requests that a train commit to the part a bit more. When Black Noir, Nathan Mitchell wishes to speak and expresses his disapproval of killing people, a train responds that Noir is meant to be a killer who lacks consciousness. While Huey, Jack Quaid waits in the hospital with his father Hugh, Simon Pegg and mother Daphne, Rosemary DeWitt, who is attempting to assist Hugh but is having none of it. Annie, Erin Moriarty sits in the hospital with her friend who was beaten during Sister Sage's riot. Huey is still upset that his mother is here, and he leaves when she informs him that his father granted her legal authority over him. After being attacked by a homelander, Frenchie, Toma Capone slips out of Colin's apartment and orders him to stay in bed. After hearing a therapist speculate that Kimiko, Karen Fukuhara may be silent due to a traumatic event in the past, Kimiko becomes enraged and storms out of the clinic. Butcher screams at Annie after telling the lads he doesn't have much time left, and M.M., Laz Alonso dismisses him from the squad. The when Huey attempts to talk him out of it, M.M. informs him that if he wants to go, he may go with him. At Vought Tower, in Season 4, Episode 2, the creatives provide Ryan, Cameron Crovetti and Ashley, Colby Minifee with his heroic origin tale. Everyone in the room is saying how much they love the pitch, but Susan Hayward's character Sister Sage interrupts to say that it blows. Ryan is informed of his first save, but since Homelander isn't included on the call sheet, he instructs them to proceed. Ashley tries to give Sister Sage advice as they board the elevator together, but Sister Sage sees right through Ashley. The Deep enters the elevator as well and requests to assist Ryan in saving his life, but Ashley ignores him and exits the building. After Sister Sage warns him against allowing Ashley to speak to him in such a manner, the camera pans to M.M. discussing the events of the protest. Huey, meantime, is finding it difficult to concentrate due to his dad's situation. The Seven and Ryan practice the save as the guys go on their assignments. Ryan is asked to practice some more by the trainer, Koi, John Koyoma, who also provides everyone with some criticism. When Deep tries to speak with Homelander, he is told to stop talking. Then, when Ashley approaches to talk to him, the aquatic hero gets in her face and threatens to drown her in her toilet. Homelander becomes alarmed when he hears Vought executives discussing airbrushing his wrinkles out of his most recent movie. Butcher is already in the hotel conference center when the lads arrive. When M.M. begs him to go, 
he refuses, and the two of them stroll Truth Con together in an attempt to find Sister Sage. Kimiko experiences intense flashbacks after seeing an old photo of the human trafficking organization she formerly belonged to. Subsequently, she becomes extremely inebriated on a train ale when the fellas arrive at Firecracker's Valerie Curry live blog. Firecracker feeds the audience nothing but right-wing conspiracy theory nonsense, and they gobble it up. Frenchie discovers that Firecracker's helper is intoxicated when Kimiko and Frenchie follow her. Although she wants Frenchie to be with Colin, Kimiko tells him she is envious. When the two go into the sauna, they see the imposter enjoying a fivesum with himself. After that, Annie and Huey accompany a train to the park, where Huey stands up for Starlight and reminds her that the populace needs a symbol. As they witness a train narrating to his nephews about one of his previous saves, his brother Nathan, Christian Keyes arrives in a wheelchair and demands that he tell them the truth. When Nathan discloses that all of the saves were phony, a train tells the youngsters it's tricky. When Firecracker returns to the conference, she is chatting with people at her booth when Sister Sage approaches her. Since Sage lacks physical abilities, Butcher tries to take her, but M.M. forbids him from entering the conference hall. When M.M. brings up Monique, Francis Turner, Butcher pushes him too far, and as a result, he strikes him in the face and knocks him to the ground. M.M. advises Butcher to go home, stating that he was mistaken to believe that this time would be different. When Kimiko proceeds to vandalize another poster from her childhood trafficking ring, someone approaches her, but she fights back until Frenchie tells her to stop. When Annie and Huey return to Boys HQ, a train is there and eager to assist. He provides them with video proof clearing innocent Starlight followers who were suspected of killing Todd, Matthew Gorman and the other Homelander supporters. He claims that because they didn't confront him in front of his family, he is giving it to them. Everyone successfully completes the rescue at Vought Bank, but Ryan kills his trainer Koi by mistake when he tosses him onto a building. Sister Sage orders Firecracker to kill M.M., Frenchie, and Kimiko when they are discovered eavesdropping on her at the hotel. Following their altercation, Firecracker follows and blows up the party. Frenchie and M.M. leave the room to discover a marvelous Ms. Meisel themed bat mitzvah, stretch those IP muscles, prime video. The lads appear to have given up hope completely until Butcher arrives and gives them a serious ass kick. The lads are told to leave by Firecracker's assistant, who rapidly surrounds him with clones, but they manage to save him. Firecracker flees the building when Butcher kills the lead clone, killing the others as well. Ryan is weeping as Homelander gives him a milkshake at Vought Tower. Though Ryan appears to be sobbing because he arrived for his save, he is actually angry since he killed a man. Ryan insists he will never save another person, even after Homelander tells him that mishaps occur and people are fallible. Homelander attempts to explain to him that people are just toys, but he becomes angry and walks off, taking the milkshake with him. The Starlighters who were found guilty of killing Todd and the other Homelander supporters are let free thanks in part to the film of a train. Annie displays her strength in front of the audience, and they applaud her. Huey goes back to the hospital to face his mother, while Frenchie returns to headquarters without answering a call from Colin. He remembers every detail of the day she departed and tells her about it. She apologizes for leaving, but he tells her that he won't forgive her and that if she doesn't get his advice before making any medical decisions, he'll take her to court. As Butcher enters HQ and MM praises him for saving him at the con, Kimiko experiences additional flashbacks. Butcher says that MM isn't a good leader because he is fearful of doing the right thing and is empathetic, implying that being a good leader means being an asshole. When Butcher asks M.M. for assistance at the end of the episode, M.M. responds that it's too little, too late. The problems with the guys in season 4 are systemic rather than limiting the brilliance of each episode. Although Homelander's role as the main antagonist is starting to become old, every other player on the board is performing to the best of their abilities. 